Today in the garage, we're going to be working on our S14, our lovely shop car, which you might have remember from my video. The greatest car ever made is amazing. So the driver's side rear wheel bearings out, so we're going to pull that off so we can service it and see how difficult it's going to be. I got just the bearing, so we'll have to get the spindle pressed out of the bearing, so that's going to be or I guess yeah, how the assembly take it off. I call the inside part a spindle. I don't know, you might have another name for it. And then we're also gonna look at the Hyundai, which I changed the receiver dryer for. I'm not gonna make a video about that, so I'll just go ahead and tell you. It, I replaced the condenser. No, sorry, not the condenser. <laughs> the AC compressor and the expansion valve recharged the system and the air conditioning works again. So my suspicions that it was the compressor because that was all janky and the bearing was bad so it needed to be replaced anyway regardless of whether or not that's why it wasn't blowing cool um and the expansion valve because you know you read things like the compressor can disintegrate inside the system and send little particles into the expansion valve and then that'll get clogged so i just went ahead and did both of them got lucky didn't have to replace the condenser so that's awesome Let's knock out this wheel bearing. This poor quarter panel, it's all its all Bondo. And it's just no bueno, that thing's done. So at some point, we'll cut this out, slap the over fenders on it. I got some B-Magic 30 millimeter over fenders that'll look pretty slick. But until then, we're just gonna try to keep them on the road and drivable, and I haven't driven this car in, oh God, five or six months now, which is so sad. Those the wheel bearings making some noise. So uh, how do you figure out that you have a bad wheel bearing? Well, uh, I'm swapping on these tires and every time I have the car off the ground and I have a corner, I give it a good shake test. Now a shake test doesn't give you a lot of information, but it allows you to spot major issues quickly if they're there, such as a wheel bearing. A wheel bearing, eh, major issue, tomato, potato. It's a little loose and needs to be replaced. So, giving it the good shake test, you can see that that whole hub is moving. And that's, that's not good. So it's like something's loose. So is that something in the knuckle? Or is that something else? So in order to see what's loose, you gotta crawl up under the car and start poking around. So here we are up under the car. Make sure you have your jack stands in place and you can see where the CV axle goes into the spindle. And if we'll give it the same shake test, it's very hard to visualize. Come on, focus. Come on and focus. There we go. You can see that the, the knuckle is staying stationary and the bearing in the knuckle is what's moving. So there we have it, a bad wheel bearing. Let's do it. Two. What a stubborn bitch. Oh, our wheels rusted on there, eh? Alright. Next stage, before you get everything apart, gotta get your big boy axle nut off there. I believe that's a 36 millimeter. I got a couple of sockets, so we're gonna see which one fits. Just for good measure and my lack of memory. 32 millimeter? No go. 36 millimeter, uh, it's a little loose, but we're gonna use it. Oh, 36 millimeter did the trick. So that almost makes me wonder if my, that was really loose. So what are the odds that the wheel bearing isn't bad and the axle nut just wasn't tight enough? Wouldn't that be not cool? Let's just well on this bad boy a minute.
put the wheel back on. Now to prevent cross threading, you're always going to want to start the lug nuts by hand. They aren't tight. Let's give it the shake test again. Oh, there wasn't any bearing wine. When I tightened the axle nut, it just pulled everything together. My axle nut was just loose. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, so all in on it with that impact. Did a much better job than this would. So I think we're done here. I'm just going to leave it. So like I said, it wasn't making any noise. It was just a little loose, which is normal for wheel bearings to get loose. You need a bit of tightening. Remember when storing torque wrenches, always put them on the lowest torque setting. Now we're getting ready to drive this bad boy to work tomorrow, which means swapping the bath, <laughs> which means swapping the battery over from the Pathfinder and putting one of the SE wheels with a good tire in the trunk for the spare. So this is what the meaty boy looks like when you do some super drifting on it and chunk the shit out of the dry rod of treads. No bueno. Probably would have worked as a spare, but it. If I have a blowout on the back, I don't want the welded diff with the different tire size. It's just not a good combination. Just got done vacuuming. Let's get a few interior shots. J Cats Customs. Been in the game since before most of you were in diapers. This dash mat's probably from like 2009. Just cast up at the Mapco. So far, old girl's doing all right. Let's go see if we can find some sweet private property to bust a skid on.